It's morning, Divine One. I know I'm not the ideal person to wake you. I am not exactly upbeat. But the sooner you wake, the sooner this will be over. Morning. Good weather today. Get some sun. You don't want to be gloomy like me, do you? Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Engage. I'm noticing that, or I was looking through the Reminisce option here, and I saw in the Wake Up events that you actually do get uh specific wake up events that can appear per person depending on the uh on the bond level that you have with them so there are a ton of of possible wake up events there's absolutely so many which i think is pretty cool another thing so i did get another support conversation with vander which i accidentally already viewed so i'm going to go ahead and replay that one divine one I have finished repairing and polishing your weapons. Thank you, Vander. I have also prepared all of the materials you will require for the War Council tomorrow. Please do take a moment to review them sometime today. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I can't do this. Do what, precisely? Vander, do you think I'm unreliable? What? Goodness, no! We are mortals, and you are the Divine One. Our magnificent leader, if you take my meaning. For you to perform lowly tasks that are mine to execute is most gracious, but uncalled for. I'm sorry, but I don't feel comfortable having a servant. That's not who I am. Ah. Before I was your attendant, I was similarly engaged in caring for Queen Lumera. Your mother, perfect in mind and beauty, never lodged a complaint regarding my services. In time, Divine One, I hope that you will grow accustomed to my work as your caretaker. I respect my mother, and thank you for your service to her. But I'm not my mother. I'm my own person. I'm capable. I can take care of myself. I see. My apologies, Divine One. I have pushed myself on you. An old servant's habit, I suppose. I will honor your request and take more care in considering your needs moving forward. Thank you, Vander. And please, let me know before you do anything on my behalf. There are many times I will need your help, but I'd like to ask for that help. All right, that was Vander's. And we got some more. So it looks like <laughs> Vander's still trying to do everything for for Kip here and doesn't want him to. We have a few. I think I unlocked another one between Hortensia and who was it? And Chloe, because I wanted to see that one. And then one between Tamara and Sidal. Sidal. So those two uh, should be pretty fun to watch. They should be. There you go. Do we have any items that may have appeared? It doesn't look like it. Actually, there is. No. No, there's none. All right. Let's see. Reference. Actually, ally notebook first. We should have a new thing with Vander. Yeah, look at that. Join the quiet. Vander's family has served the divine dragon for centuries as clerics living in Lathos Castle. Due to his appointed skills, Vander was appointed 32nd. Oh, due to his skills, he was appointed 32nd steward of the dragon. I want to see real quick, too. I think here we should be able to see... Yunaka, then I'll see what uh, if we if there's something past gold because we had a gold here. We do. There's a purple. Height. We get her fight and her height and her ring size. J. What? What is that? J. One half. What is that? Personality. Personality seems energetic. Uh, seems energetic and ready for anything. But alone, but alone or in person, she get, she's like a different person. Wait, what? But alone or in battle, she's like in a different person. 
A gifted actor, great at impersonation, more insightful than an ally, than any ally. That's pretty cool. She's really short. 5'5? <laughs> five, five? I just realized. She's not tall at all. Alright. I think that's all of our bond ones. So we should have two, a few support ones. So we have Tamara and Cedal. And then we'll go over Chloe and Hortensia and Cedal and Tamara as well. This meat is so yummy, it's going to make your taste buds dance. Wow. That seems like a lot of meat for the two of us. Oh no, this one's for me. I was going to do yours next. What? How do you eat that much? Oh, you know, open my mouth, bite, chew. I won't bore you with all the details. Wow. <laughs> You're really something, Tamara. <gasps> That's true! I'm really something! I'm the crown princess of Seoul! And I'm wearing lots of priceless jewels! Shh, please keep your voice down. I've heard that this area isn't very safe. You can say that again. It's absolutely crawling with bandits. That's why I'm out here like a nice, tempting hunk of lamb on a spit. Wait a minute. That was your plan? To use yourself as bait? It worked, didn't it? Look, those bruisers have had their eye on us since we got here. It looks like... It looks like they're getting ready for an ambush. Not if we pounce on them first. Come on. This ought to be a piece of cake for you and me. Uh, all right. But, you know, a little heads up would have been nice. So we know Tamara likes meat. Tons of it. And she's very energetic. So there's that. <laughs> Practicing your dancing tonight, Seedal? Ah, oh, Divine One. It's not so much practice as it is performance. I have an audience tonight, after all. But there's no one around. There's the moon. The moon? That's right. The silver light shining in the dark above. And the multitude of stars, too. I perform for them all tonight, Divine One. Did you know that when people die, they leave their form behind and become stars? My teacher is up in that sky. This teacher of yours died then? He did. These dance steps were the ones he loved most. <laughs> it's beautiful, Seedal. Every single movement is just gorgeous. I give up many of life's pleasures in pursuit of perfecting the craft of my dance. It's not easy. I practice my steps intently, and I am vigilant about what fuels my dance. My dancing skills are renowned in song. Complacency and mediocrity are not an option. You're so disciplined. I respect that. And there's something otherworldly about you. Sometimes I'm not sure I should get too close. May I resume dancing now? Oh, yes, of course. I'm sorry I interrupted you. That was cool. All right, let's go ahead and see more about uh, Chloe and Hortensia. I think that's going to be sweet. Maternal sophistication is all about gently embracing everyone, drawing them to you. I get how it works, but actually pulling it off is something else entirely. I just gotta keep observing you. I'll learn all your tricks eventually. Whatever I can do to help. I hope it works. Oh, but wait. Before we get started, let me wipe your face. Ugh, did I have something on me? You did, but I took care of it. Now that cute face of yours is even cuter. <laughs> Thanks, Chloe. Wait. <gasps> that was it. That was it just now. I just naturally trusted you and let you wipe my face without even thinking about it. Having you dote on me felt... I don't know. Peaceful. Aw, did it? That's so sweet. <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't let my guard down around you at all. Anyway... Let's get moving. I need to see more of this in action. Be sure to drink some water first. Huh? Why? On a warm day like today, it's important to drink when you can. Oh, sure. Glug, glug. <sighs> Wait a second. I fell for it again. 
Your motherly charm is kind of terrifying, Chloe. <laughs> this is so sweet. I feel like uh, Hortensia probably... Oh, but Hortensia talked a little bit about her mom <laughs> with Ivy. <laughs> tasty, tasty, I want to hear more about that. So nice and chewy. Ah. Oh, no. Don't you start. Again? You're breaking your promise again? I can smell it. You've got one of your two tasty dishes on the grill. Oh, the sizzling. Relax, would you? You're acting weird again. I mean, you're a world-renowned dancer. Not to mention a famous fortune teller. People say you're so dignified, so composed. I used to dream of meeting the great Seedall. Are you disappointed? No. About 90% of the time, you live up to the hype. You act different around, uh, flavor? My apologies, Princess Tamara. I blame the meat, the way you prepare your dishes. The bold flavors are just beyond delicious. Tell me something I don't know. Princess Tamara, why do you always start roasting meat when I'm around? That's not quite what's happening, is it? Come on, give it another think. The truth is, when I've got a good roast going, you find me and barge in. So you're saying I'm doing this to myself? Yep. I see. Uh, allow me to apologize, Princess Demera. You didn't break your promise. I simply lack willpower. That's my fault, not yours. I'll make sure I don't come looking for you when you're cooking with such flair and flavor. If you'll excuse me. Seedal, wait. All right. I think that's all of them. Yeah. Yeah, I want to hear more about uh, between Hortensia and, and uh, Ivy, because they did... Me oh, also, there's this thing now. Um, it's like a fortune telling. I can't access it, because apparently it's only accessible in the evening, but it's a new house that opened up. Apparently, it can... I, I don't, I'm not too sure what exactly it can do for us yet. But anyways, yeah, I feel like that whole mom thing probably has to do with why Hortensia... Uh, looks up to Chloe the way she does. Alright, what is this? Paralog or no paralog? It's just actually going back. Nope, there's all. There is, in fact, another paralog, though. Oh god, we have three paralogs, dude. Alright, what does uh, this one look like? Crossroads of Fate. This is also an advanced quest level 7. <laughs> Alright, after, uh, let's go back here, yeah, after this chapter, I will go back to the paralogs and I should be able to, to start tackling them. Let's go ahead and begin this chapter, because this is advanced class level 1, so I should be able to hit the other two after this. With Emblem Corin added to our ranks, each country's rings have been collected. Right. No more rings in the wild. Between us and Sombron, they've all been taken. Let's consider the situation. There are five emblems on our side. Lynn, Lucina, Ike, Violet, and now Corin. Meanwhile, the Fell Dragon's got seven in his grubby claws. Most of them are old allies. Marth, Sigurd, Selica, Micaiah, Leaf and Roy, as well as another emblem ring his forces stole from Lethos, the Azure Twins. To gather all twelve, we will need to face the enemy directly. Are you proposing we invade Illusia? Returning to Illusia already? Yeah, that's gotta be complicated. Indeed. But that aside, invading Illusia now would be a mistake. They have a clear advantage. Seven emblems to our five. The worst case scenario is that they steal more of our rings. That's what concerns me. If that happens, we can abandon all hope of defeating the Fell Dragon. But the longer we wait to attack, the more likely it is they'll attack us. It's best that we strike first. 
One never wants to be on the wrong end of an ambush. When we're not ready to take the offensive. Rock in a hard place, huh? Pardon the interruption. Vander, what is it? Word from the port of Solm. A number of warships were spotted on the horizon. Judging from the crests on their sails, they appear to be Illusion vessels. They're attacking the Queendom again? No. In fact, the fleet sails toward Firinair. My kingdom. We'd better take a look for ourselves. Let's head to the Azure coast. It's near the border, and it's got a clear view of the sea. will be the first ones in Firinae. It would seem so. Wonder why Zephia told us to go ahead. Our orders are to kill everyone we see, right? With this kind of head start, think of the body count we can get. We'll be heroes! Seems like Zephia's really taken a shine to us. Don't you think, Mavir? I do not particularly care. I have my orders, and I will follow them. <laughs> This is why I can't stand you. You never praise me, and you're no fun at all. I thought Chris was bad. At least he's not the boringest man in the world. <sighs> Lady Marnie, Sir Mavir. You got something to report? Two soldiers have deserted the fleet. Hmm. Perhaps they had reservations about the current strategy. Whatever. Leave them be. We'll catch up later and beat the daylights out of them. Uh, but they took an emblem ring. What? Explain. As a precaution, we kept each ring on a separate ship in the fleet. These soldiers attacked the guard on watch and stole the ring of the Azure Twins. Warships are already in pursuit. We will take chase as well. The ring must be returned at any cost. These soldiers, what are their names? Rosado and Gold Mary. Princess Hortensia's retainers? I thought those two were behaving themselves lately. No longer, it seems. Do we know where they went? They were headed to Solm by Wyvern. All right. Turn this ship around. Take us to the coast of Solm. Ugh. If we were in the lead, those two are in heaps of trouble. Let's go. We're going to get them back. Where there they are. are. I think it's safe to say we lost them. Perhaps we should pause for a moment then. I'm sure your wyvern needs to rest her wings. Good idea. Let's take a breather and then start looking for Hortensia. We have to make sure she gets the ring of the Azure Twins. Indeed. Aha! There they are! Let's seize them! Is a few minutes rest really too much to ask? Let's get out of here, Gold Mary. It's an Illusion fleet, all right. And it does look to be headed toward Firinae. We have to get there before they do. That'd be nice, but look. We've got Illusion soldiers on the beach. You want to attack again, huh? I'll give you a good old-fashioned Solmic welcome. That's not enough troops for an invasion. It looks more like a search party. Divine One! There's a Wyvern coming this way! They must have spotted us. Everyone, at the ready! Hold on! Rosado? Gold Mary! <laughs> Hortensia! You're not hurt, are you? I was so worried. Not as worried as I was! Oh, I'm so happy you two are alive! Nice to see you and your retainers back together again. The Divine Dragon! Watch out! Put that away, Rosado! 
I'm on the Divine Dragon side now. My sister is too. Princess Ivy as well? Psst. If you're being held against your will, blink three times. I swear, it's not like that. I wanted to join them, so I did. I made this choice for Illusia. Question is, as my retainers and my friends, will you join me? All right. If this is what you want, then it's what I want too. Whatever banner you're under, I will defend it with all my might. Good. I knew I could count on you two. Um, Divine One? Sorry for drawing my weapon on you. Here, this is yours. Is this... The Ring of the Azure Twins. We stole it from the ship we were on. Thank you. Good going! <laughs> I hope my dazzling abilities do not blind you. This is just what we needed. Restore Calm, Emblem of the Sacred. Finally, I am returned to your side. My name is Erica. I raise my sword in hopes that peace will come to this world at last. I know we can depend on you, Erica. Now, which of you should I give this ring to? You're both to thank for bringing it here. You ought to give it to Rosado. Rosado flew us here. He was instrumental in our escape. You were too, Gold Mary. But there's no time to argue, is there? Lend me the ring and I promise I'll do my part. It's settled. Here you are, Rosado. You know what the ring be oh god. Finally. There she is. Marnie. This is where those thieves ran off to, right? And Mavier too, right? By all accounts, yes. Now we sniff them out. Oh boy. Alright. Emblem rings. So we know uh, those two will have their own things. I think everyone else is fine. Um, unit selection. I think this is about who we want. Also, I didn't know this last time, but apparently, when you change class and put someone in the advanced in the advanced class, they their appearance changes slightly. So like, Hortensia has this like gold crown around her now, and same with. Fogato and Tamara has some like gold little trinkets around her So that's gonna be pretty cool for everyone Anyways, I think we're pretty much set to fight. Just want to make sure everyone is Okay, where they are Yeah, I think everyone is fine We can move her over here like that. There we go And uh, this guy is good at the back. We want this guy up front and we'll do no no okay let's do this let's swap you with you there we go okay i think that's good and oh although bugato should be on this side there we go because we do have two flyers coming down from the bottom now we have rosado and gold mary and what Moments ago, the beach was dry, and now the water is up to my ankles. All right, what's going the on here? The tide here seems to rise and fall at a moment's notice. Try to keep me on dry land, will you? Oh, God. Ugh, I'd hate to be stuck tromping around in the water. That is not what I was hoping for. Um, I wanted to send Kip to the front because we just got... Oh, man. You've got to be kidding me. Really? Because I just got the Worm Slayer. Dude, <laughs> that's some bullcrap, man. <laughs> what? Screw that. I will obey. I even had the, uh... I also, I even had Rescue previously, and now I don't. It's freaking lame, man. How much damage do you do? Oh, that will kill him. But he will absolutely demolish us. What I could do is attack with her, um, and then heal her with Hortensia. 
Which honestly, I think it, I think that works. That would work. We have two dudes up there. I think it's fine. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna attack with Olga Nun, and she has a hundred percent chance of landing her hit. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I could do first, though. These two are gonna be coming up, so let's send Fogato down here. What are, what kind of attackers are they? They are sword user and something else. So yeah, I mean, yeah, let's put one guy there. How do and I oh crap. Uh, miss it. there we go. Let's put you here. Wait, and then no, Hortensia. We're gonna need her. Oh wait, I forget she's a. Our side's cuter for sure. But <laughs> by the looks of it, theirs might be tougher. Worry not, Rosado. With my power, you can punch through even the oh. hardiest foes' defenses. You may also call upon my twin brother's abilities if you like. Oh, so that she does. Okay. Uh, emblem Erica switches with her twin brother Ephraim to adapt to different situations. The sync skill Lunar Brace increases damage dealt in proportion to the foe's defense. The engaged weapon Rapier deals bonus damage against cavalry and armored foes. The engaged skill Sacred Twins enables the unit to invoke Erica and Ephraim's skills simultaneously. The engaged attack twin strike hits with both swords and lance, making it easier to break foes and deals bonus damage against the corrupted. Alright. Uh, what's this guy's defense? 18. It's That's actually not that high. Night and day? I'm sorry, what? Switch between emblems. Oh. Cool. Uh, she just has some normal stuff. Rosado. And if you engage, twin strike. That will not kill him. Uh, but if I attack... Still does pretty good damage, but it won't kill. Um, yeah, so I think... Wait, what? Oh, I guess a little bit of healing on the next ones. That's cool. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attack with you. Or I could send her up here. Huh. Anything for you. Maybe I could do that. That might be useful. Yeah, let's do that. Let's engage. And twin strike. She won't get attacked back, so that's good. I cannot allow this. There we go. Oh, that's pretty cool. That was pretty great. And then we could send somebody out. What about you? Can you even I am move? prepared. Yeah, she can't really. Oh, she can. Oh, because she can use a spear, too. Alright. We're going to have her wait here. Uh, and then we'll just have... I we'll have move fear. everyone else like forward, I guess, a little bit. Uh, and then have... Say the word. You attack... With the Silver Lance. She shouldn't get attacked, so she should be just fine here. There you go. You were beautiful while you lasted. That gave her a lot of EXP. I'm ready. And uh, I guess just move everyone forward a little bit. I'm gonna move her up here. How mysterious. Uh, yeah, let's have him wait here. And then Hortensia, I want to put her on this so she could collect whatever this is. Iron Axe. Yeah, send that back in. Okay. So we should have some people. Yeah, those people come in from down here. Which, uh, yeah, we got him. And then Fogato could take him out with his bow skills. But first, oh gosh, she'll get attacked and be completely fine. There you go. I think they won't do much else, right? 
Okay, now everyone can cross here. Oh, uh, man. That's going to be kind of annoying, though. Oh, my God. Really? Damn. Okay, one person can attack him. Which is this guy. What does he have? Rider's Bane, Freeze, and Physic. So, he could freeze me from here. Uh, I don't know if I like that. Yeah, I don't want him freezing me. So we are going to avoid that. Ah, oh, man, that sucks, dude. That's so lame, man. I <laughs> Cuz the the alternative is we attack from here, I guess. Ah, all right, it's fine. That's such a crappy position to put to like just lay me on. All right, that's okay. Can she attack from here? She can, and she'll finish him off too. I'll go first. All right, dual assist, perfect. All righty. All right. Now we're good. She has leveled up. Now, everyone else can move quite the distance. I don't know. I might want to have him come down this way. So, at the very least, so he could uh, help defend them a little bit, right? I think I'll do that. I'll move him down here. I'm definitely going to have her go this way. All Everyone who can attack her is... Uh, a physical attacker, so that's perfectly fine. What can you do? Oh, not much. Oh, God, she's in range of so much here. So, maybe we just have her wait here, because that's not good. Uh, she's in range for some attacks here. What she can do is attack this guy. But not kill him. Uh, no. We don't want her in range of, uh... Okay, let's attack like this. And let's attack this guy, because he can poison. So we don't want that. There we go. Rest now. And, uh, Alchrist. Want him back here. Mm -hmm. Her defense isn't the best, so we're going to keep her back here. We'll put her up here, actually. Yeah, and do this. There you go. Why did that look like it did more damage than it should have? Or something. This guy doesn't have great defense, but he has insane evade. But we'll still keep him back here. We definitely don't want her here, though. Oh, we could have her here, though. And have her uh, attract the horses. She can definitely take the... Uh, we don't want her tanking attacks, though. Uh, she could tank the mages, which would be good. Uh, ooh. Wait, hold up. He could just Dragon Vein. Vein of Ice. Oh, but it wouldn't. Really? He could Chain Guard. Uh, I'm just going to have him wait, though. Alright, let's see what they do. They'll slowly try to come out. Yeah, there we go. There's absolutely nothing. <laughs> because Jade is a freaking beast. Alright. Alright. And now, who's he attacking? Her, okay. Oh, she takes big damage from this guy. Oh, but she finishes him off. Before he even got to attack. Oh, that was great. Oh, that was actually really good, because otherwise this would have killed. Oh my god. No one desires war. Yo. <laughs> he got the crit too. 
Avoid an attack 200 times. Yeah, these achievements, man. Dude, our evasion stats are getting way too good. Oh, no. Oh, what? She was in range for those? I should have paid more attention to that. Oh, God. Okay, thank God. Only her chance is getting hit. Oh, but she misses. That was good. All right. Wait, why did this guy get to attack again? What? The guy healed. And, oh, he healed due to his location, not because... Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Uh, I'm thinking of something of uh, what I might be able to do. Her defense goes higher when she turns into a dragon, but that guy's still gonna do extra damage. His radiant bow does. It's a magical, a magic attack bow. Uh, she has great resistance. She has great resistance too. Uh, his magic attack is 27. Pretty high. Yeah, I think I'm n still not going to risk it. And instead, what I'll do... Oh no, but she's also a flyer. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can get him to lure. Yeah, there we go. Go up from there. Oh, here we go. Yeah, wait here and his evade will just go insane. Really? Still? Yo, that stupid bow, dude. Or whatever. Alright. Uh, Rapier. That should take that guy out. Or this one, which would hurt us pretty bad. Uh, oh, this one will one-shot. Rapier. Crit 15% chance. Not too bad. Oh, this guy has L Thunder. There's a... A, uh... An upgraded version of Thunder. Cool. That's it. All right. Uh, what can you do? Oh, fire. Will that finish her off? It will. Okay. Good. That's what we want. Um. Yeah. Let's just leave her here. By taking him out with this. And then everyone else will just move forward slowly. There we go. And then Jade. Uh, we're going to move her out here. And uh, same with Alchrist. And we'll attack, yeah, this guy with Alchrist over here. There we go. Oh, let's go. Oh, he's almost level 19. He's getting close to being able to go to go up to advanced class, which will be pretty good. This guy should lure over a bunch of them, which I think will be good. For now, oh, let's you know what? Let's chain guard. And uh, let's just have her wait here. These guys. Uh, let's see what we want to do with them. Fogato can attack with silver bow out of these guys, or with a long bow can attack this guy. Uh, I'm not sure. Armor Slayer doesn't do anything, Worm Slayer. If we engage an all for one, that also will not take him out. <laughs> God damn it. Alright. Alright, let's just attack. Go with Silver Bow. Mm. I want to longbow this dude. Wait, what about. Ooh. Oh, wait. That makes no difference. I just realized. God damn it. Never mind. Ah, boy. What to do? I want to take out this guy. I don't want him to 
stay alive. Cause also because he has Rider's Bane, which is uh, kind of scary. Yeah. Uh, I could offer one. Wow. Does absolutely nothing still. <laughs> All right, screw it. Oh, I just realized he takes big damage from that. Oh, but he dodged. <laughs> Andy crits. Let's go. That went perfectly. Now maybe she can... Oh, let's go. Now she can take out this guy. With the silver lance. There we go. That went better than I would have uh, than I expected it to. Kind of best case scenario there. Um, we want to stay out of that dude's range. So what we're going to do... Okay, so here's where we want to sit. Attack this guy. And <laughs> you just see the sun. <laughs> just see the fucking sun go down behind a building here. Uh, and she can wait right here. There you go. That guy's gonna attack, but it should be fine. Oh god, he broke us. That's okay. And everyone will attack this guy. Have low chances of actually landing a hit. And then just getting poisoned. Oh god, the chain attacks though. There we go. And she takes him out. Perfect. that everyone okay a few people are in the water but that's okay uh oh god i'll manage we are unfortunately stuck here him however uh let's see hmm <laughs> he can attack from here Oh, come on, really? Alright, we'll leave him here. We'll have him heal with the vulnerary. We'll put him to attack with the longbow. Although, okay, screw it. I was going to put her, have her wait here, but, and then hopefully with him, I could attack using now the silver bow. Okay, it does kill him. So let's do that. Allow me. Oh, he did chain attack. Alright, cool. This guy's out. There we go. And, uh... Oh, we got some more people coming down here. Alright. Alright. Uh, these guys, I don't think that guy matters much, um, whatever he tries to do. So we're just gonna have these two wait here. Yeah, you know what? Let's have her attack here with a, uh, flame breath. That would be nice. But nah, Eternal Claw, I think will do it. Yeah. She has a good chance of evading, but we'll see. Hungry for more. <laughs> or she'll just crit. Perfect. Oh, let's go. Her bond is increased. And now this guy can... He can attack from here. Well... Well, honestly... Why not put her here? What about him? And you... Oh, God. Everyone actually has... Uh, I'm gonna have her wait here. Now I'll put you right here. 
with steel bow. I think that should be fine. And take him out. There we go. Alright, I think that is everyone we are able to attack this round. Right, yeah. So we're going to move everyone else forward. There we go. Actually, here's what we'll do. We'll dance uh, for this guy. You're too kind to me. There we go. That way you can catch up because he does tend to fall behind. There we go. And then we can move everyone else a little bit up. No, wait right here. There we go. Alright, I think we're chilling right here. And I don't think anyone else plans on moving forward, really. Mostly because of the water. I've got this. Yeah. Everyone else is essentially gonna have to wait. This whole water thing is annoying. <laughs> Okay, the worm, at the very least, we know the worm isn't going to attack right here, which is good. So we can do that, and we can go ahead and put a Revival Blessing on Ivy. If we can reach her, which we can't, so that's going to have to wait. Uh, same, yeah, we don't want that guy to attack us either. <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, what we can do... Huh. I mean, I could definitely physique. That would work. And then just move everyone forward, I guess, a little bit. This guy attacks with, uh, no, both of these are, they're physical attacks? Really? Okay. <laughs> I mean, if that's the case, then we could have her here, uh, and just wait, right? Because if they're going to attack, if it's not attacking with a magical attack, then, uh, Let's lure it out with a physical attack. Uh, we definitely don't want him coming after the Rosada, though. Damn. Alright, we're gonna have to have Rosada wait right here. And uh, there we go. Alright, let's see what that worm does. Oh, but he can attack from here. Oh, boy. Oh, that, that still hit hard. I don't think that was a great idea, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, wow. Wow, we got to hit first still. That was crazy good. Alright, that guy's going after Rosado, which we get to attack first again. But we, oh, it's because it was a smash weapon, that's why. It was a hard hitting one, too. Okay, all the water's gone. That's fine. Are you for what? Are you for real, man? Okay, I guess. Uh, all for one. Wow. Dude, all for one is kind of trash. <laughs> I guess it's not if, like, uh... Uh, I don't know, man. I just realized that, like, Kip is kind of weak. Let's see. Radiant Bow, really? Alright. Yeah, let's take him out. And, uh... Yeah, there we go. That should clear things there. Talk about a good time. There's level three now. 
Uh, who else do we have up front here? That's the question. Not too much. Um, here's what we'll do. We'll attack. Yeah. Attack with a javelin. Just have her stay right there. Oh, this might finish him off. Yeah, thanks to the chain attack. Alright, perfect. And now he can move all the way forward. Alright, now what are we going to do here? Is the question. We could face this guy. The Bolganon, except... It will take a lot of damage, and then we'll be in range to get murdered by the guy over there. Uh, wait, hold up. What if? Can I attack him from here? I can. So I can attack him with Bolganon from here. All right, I think I think I have a. Uh, I know what I want to do. I'm gonna set this up to attack from here. We'll take some damage, but it'll be fine. There we go. He's out. Then we'll come in with Chloe. Divine Blessing. There we go. And to finish it off. Oh, Chloe is ready. And to finish it off, we will send over her to, f uh, to use Physic. There you go. All right, now she should be fine. You'll see what uh, I made now of. for these two. Hey, look at that silver axe takes out either of them. Uh, but this guy we want to do first. There you go. And then we want to move everyone across the, the river. Really, she dodged that. That was great. Oh, what one yet? Really? One health point. That's fine. Uh, yeah, he can attract some people over. I don't think the water will go up just yet, right? I think it still takes like a. It's like every two turns. It That's looks like it. the the tide changes, so not every turn. All right, let's go. Learn the new. Oh, hobble. I've been seeing that on some other characters. Wasn't fully sure what it does. Just meditate. Uh, let's move her forward and have her heal up a bit. I actually might want to have her uh, have him dance on her. That way she can move forward and lure out the attackers since I'm pretty sure they are all physical. Where. Yeah, all, uh, yeah, they're all physical. So she could sit here. Actually, no, we could just have her wait and she'll, her meditation will activate. Oh god, Alchris is going to start falling behind though. That's okay. Oh, that's Marnie though. Doing here. Wait. Marnie is also a tank? Oh, shoot. <laughs> and she does more damage. Oh, because Hurricane Axe is a magic attack. Oh, God. I forgot about that. I should. Oh, gosh. She's gonna get crit. Wow. Well, that's. <laughs> it's a good thing I gave her the Revival Stone. That was insane. Alright, Marnie's there. Um, let's see what her defenses look like. She has high defense, she has terrible resistance. And she can be reached. Uh, let's see. This finishes her off. 
and it get uh, goes through her chain guard. All right, that's what we're gonna do then. We have a chain guard. That's fine. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Even Ivy's little laugh. She's like, "Yeah." <laughs> Defense and resistance both go up. Nice. And luck. A little bit of it. Okay. So now the question is how do we finish her off? She's not going to reach. Unfortunately. However, she can take out this guy. Yeah. This will, so this will be okay. There we go. For everyone I love. And then we can come up with Hortensia. Um, you know what we can do with Hortensia as well? Now Hortens so Hortensia can move all the way up here. We could have this guy come up and dance to reactivate Ivy, and then Ivy could finish him off. Because Ivy is our only magic attacker that could reach uh, Marin right now. So I'm going to have her... Ooh. This guy and this guy. This guy oh, this is Mavier? Nah, we're going <laughs> to... I'm sorry. I'm going to put her right here. Sorry, Mavier can still reach from over there. What is Mavier again? Is he a is he an archer or something? He has a flame lance. That's why you can reach. Wow. Dude, that's insane. Alright. Well let's attack with this. We should be fine. This will finish off Marnie. There we go. Dude. <laughs> the fact that she was left with one health. Fine. We'll call it even. Next time though, you're dead. Super duper dead. I'm worried. I'm still a little bit worried about uh, uh Oh, Master Seal, nice. About Jade, but I think we should be fine as long as I heal her up. Should be good here. What I can also do is engage Jade and have her use Houses Unite, which will... Hmm. Okay, all of these guys, Jade should, in theory, survive them. So I'm going to Houses Unite here. And this will break him. Hmm. I should have guessed Hortensia's retainers would seek your forces out. Yeah, Don't that's right. My time. <laughs> Perfect, man. There we go. He's broken. Somebody else can come by and finish him off. But before we do that, oh, she gets axe proficiency. Nice. Uh, oh. Okay, she can finish him off there. Or I could have this guy do it. The problem is... I just realized Flame Lance is a magic attack. God damn it, man. <laughs> oh, I'm stupid. I should have instead chain guarded with him. That is, sucks. What is this guy's... Uh, he has, oh, he doesn't have great defense, though. Mm. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to try to take him out. Let's go Steel Blade here. Uh, there you go. This will do that. No mercy uh, for mutineers. And then we could come in with Marin and try to finish him off. What, what is here? Oh, wait. Oh, but that's the thing. We don't want to... Oh, God. 
Marin is going to do lots of damage against him, though. Uh, yeah, so we actually want to wait. Let's see if we can lure these guys over to the right. Because if we can, um, then that would be perfect. Alright, let's end turn. Because I, I don't want, I just don't want Jay to die. Okay, this guy's going after Marin. He has very low chance of even landing a hit. All right, we're chilling. Was cool, was it not? Uh, I want to go save the house up top. Going after Marin again. That's totally fine. This guy should die. And Mavier. Uh, I guess I don't know who should who will attack. Okay, so they're not all. So I'm assuming Mavier might go after Jade. Which is what I hope happens. But I hope Jade also survives. No, we'll, I guess we'll see. Nope, he's going after Mer. No, he is going after Jade. Okay. Oh god, no! He's gonna kill her. God damn it, that's not... Man, I wanted to help the house. Okay, let's go back. All the way back to when I attacked with Jade. Oh, man. I did not realize that this guy was a uh, magic attacker. So, he can go after Jade. But that's not what we want. Yeah, we're going to want Jay to, like, be over here, honestly. Jade's not going to be a part of that battle. Rosado, however, can, but also probably not a great idea to have him there. Really, will he not do much to... Really? Oh, Chain Guard, are you for real? Okay. Uh, what about you? Uh, resistance is decent. It's okay. It's better than Jade's, but uh, I think it's fine. Alright, so let's do this. Attack with him. Chain Guard will... Uh, there we go. We'll activate. And then let's put Marin up front. Let's put Marin here. These two are just gonna chain guard each other. I don't think it matters. There we go. And then Mavier will come up, but that is, uh, I think that'll be okay. This guy has, Rosado has like okay defense, uh, resistance, I mean. Uh, so we'll do this. And. Then I think we'll be okay. I almost broke a sweat. Oh, <laughs> Rosado levels up too. So I think everyone else should have a decent-ish chance at surviving Mavier. And then these guys will do what we did last time. Just have her come out like that. Him come up that that way and have him do that. There you go. All right, let's just see what Mavier does. Oh, really? Okay. I think I'm gonna send, and the next one I will send Tamara up front. Actually, I don't know if that'll do much. And then have her engage. Alright, so who do you go after? Hmm. Hortensia, really? Hortensia's retainers would seek your forces out. Does Hortensia say anything back? No. No! Wait, Hortensia, please dodge. 53. Come on. No! <laughs> Bro, you've got to be kidding me. Ugh. 
Alright, let's try something else. Looks like we have to go back <laughs> again. Dude, this is so annoying. <laughs> Pretends to use a staff, yeah. So, Ivy attacked. Uh, where did I put Hortensia? There she is. First things first. No you get out of the way, because we know for a fact she will die. I guess Hortensia we also want to not... Yeah. We want Hortensia to not be uh, in danger zone. Uh, can you not? Oh, wait. There's not really anyone here that I care about. Rosado is uh, someone we do want to keep safe. Let's see what Rosado's at. His defense is 15, resistance 11. Hortensia has pretty low defense. Yep. That's why she takes a bigger hit. Okay. This guy... Uh, it's a little bit harder. Uh, let's see. She has good defense and pretty decent resistance. Uh, yeah, so we're going to do this, what we did last time. Uh, there we go. God, I am, uh... See. Yeah, she'll be fine right here. So, Mer if Marin gets attacked, I think Marin should survive. Marin, Gold Mary, or Rosado, I believe, should survive. <laughs> and that is very maybe, I believe. Otherwise, I mean, a, I don't know, divine bond or something would work, but uh, we'll see. Uh, and definitely him, we can want him to stay back here. As for these guys, I guess I'll just have her do this in Great Aether here. And I'm going to keep these guys out of... Uh, any actual trouble. There we go. Alright, let's see how it looks like this time. Uh, yeah, we know all that's happening. We know all of them are going to attack her. She'll be able to great ether and hit them all back. <laughs> they do absolutely no damage. Which is great. They didn't manage to do anything to her. That was, that was perfect. Okay. Uh, going after... No mercy from mutineers. Gold Mary. Okay. And with Gold Mary, she survives. Perfect. <laughs> and actually dodges. That was great. Okay. So this is where it becomes a problem. She can great ether. Uh, she will set this up pretty well for us. There we go. Yeah. Huge damage to all three of them. Okay, so now the question is... Uh, how are we going to get up here? She's not in range for anyone to hit her. Neither is her. Is she, I mean... So we could just have her attack right here. So the problem is, if we want to get to the house, I will atone. we are going to have to... Oh, wait. No, this is fine. Here's what we'll do. We'll surround the dude and people that... Uh... We'll keep Goldmary here, Marin here. 
Rosado here. No, wait, let's do this. Uh, is it Kenny not engage? Oh, he's not ready? What? What can you do? Torrential Roar. That would be pretty good. Uh, let's see. Attack. Great Axe. Really? None of these are going to kill this guy? Uh, okay, I guess. We could finish him off with, uh, with that one dude, though. There we go. And then we could have him... God damn it, he can't attack from there. That's lame. In that case, we'll put him here, and we'll have him chain guard. And then I guess everyone else will just kind of... Oh, wait. <laughs> she can't be attacked from here. So I'll just make sure she... Ke uh, I guess she can do that. Thanks. I was hoping I could hit somebody at the bottom with physique, but that didn't work. Not exactly what I had intended. It's okay. Alright, he can attack any of these people. Uh, so first, we'll go up here. Finish off uh, this guy. I'm going to switch to Javelin. Just because I know those guys are going to try to hit from the side. Destroys them. Uh, we'll also... What we'll do? Attack. Radiant Bow. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> we get our chain attacks in there too. Uh, but he dodges them. <laughs> but he still dies. And then... Uh, we'll finish him. Oh, we can't do that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay, I think that's essentially what I wanted. Um, yeah, we'll just, we'll wait here. Uh, let's end turn. So you can only attack one of the two people that would survive. <laughs> and then that guy dies. Okay, I just hope we survive Fogato's attack. This guy's gonna try to come after us, but he also dies. I had to stop you. Perfectly fine. And then uh Gold Mary, cool. And we have our chain guard, so. Oh, but he he does no damage anyways. Alright, perfectly fine. Oh, okay. I'm going after Alchris, I guess. Sorry, what? Oh. I won't miss! <laughs> he quits him though! Let's fucking go. I'll apologize later. Oh, that was great. All right, we're in a good spot now. We're fine. You have saved me. Oh, of course, but he heals him. I, I wanted that guy to die. We didn't get it. That's fine. All right, so now what we want to do is move her up here, do a visit. Yeah, I saw those troops on the shore. Be careful, all right? And take this. Might help. All right. Recover. Cool. Let's send it over because I still don't know. Uh, so don't use it. All right. So now we can actually finish this guy off probably. I think she has a good attack. I'll fire. Yeah, I should finish him off. Or she could engage. What's her engage attack? Oh, her engage was the... I remember now. Will this kill him? It will not. I'll fire will though. Uh, but not before she dies, so let's attack from here. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Otherwise, she was gotten destroyed. I should have guessed Hortensia's retainers would seek your forces out. Alright. Right. So, we have it sorted out. We just had to trap him in with Gold Mary and... Gold Mary, Rosado, and Marin. 
There you go. She got her revenge. She's chilling. And uh, now we finish them off probably with Marin and Rosado. Although, although, let's take out this guy first because he was annoying. I want to see what night and day does. I don't think it did much. <laughs> I need I need to look exactly at the effects of the abilities. Dude attacks first, just to get some fast <laughs> to let's go. That emblem looks sick too. Alright, we can go in with Marin first, because I think Marin is super cool. He's going to take a lot of damage, but it's okay, honestly. Because he, he should be taken out this turn anyways. Unless uh, he crit, which he didn't, so that's fine. So now the question is, who do I want to finish him off with? I guess since Gold Mary's new, we should have her let her do it. Steel Blade. <laughs> Let's do it with this. Why not? Screw it. She might, she might, yeah. I was going to say she might dodge anyways. I withdraw for now. But we will meet again. And we have successfully taken their emblem ring. And we got a spirit dust from him too. I saw it in his inventory. I wasn't sure. Ivy, really? Actually, yeah, I can see that. She absolutely she demolished those wyverns or those like worms, I think. I don't know what they're called. The large lizard looking guys. She took them out. Dancer in the ruins. What is this? Seashore seashore travels. The Illusion soldiers have fled. Marnie and Mavi are too. Now we can head to Firene. Yes, right away. If those ships made landfall, then my people are in danger. Dude, we got it. That was great. Now we have a bunch more uh, people with us. Also... Uh, we should be able to adopt everything now, right? Because now we've given donations to all of the kingdoms. Except for Illusia, I think. I'm not sure, actually. I haven't checked for really well for that one. There's an item here. Where are you? There you go. And then can we go in here? Oh, we can't. What's Alfred, I'd say? Hmm. I wonder how they're doing back in Fearing, eh? And what's Illusia? Wait, what? And what's Illusia? Sorry, the fell dragon up to. Oh, yeah. We have another cat. Come on, give me some flamingos, man. I want the flamingo. Dude, I haven't even checked how many animals we have in the barn. <laughs> There's probably so many. We have Jade here. What do you have to say, actually? Let me explain. You're gonna have to see the night reminisce. The colors uh, reminds me of minerals from home. Oh, animal, a pigeon. Wait, what? Oh, it's a seagull. Huh. I wonder if it'll just give us more eggs too, though. And then here's the lady that we saved. <sighs> hmm. I think that's about it. We do have three people over here to talk to, and then another item. It is, oh, Hortensia and the two in her retainers. I was worried I'd never see these two again. Yeah. I'm so relieved I finally got the ring to you, not the emblem. Uh, Hello. What? Thank you for allowing me to join you. I'm sorry if my present makes you, makes your other allies obsolete. What? Hey. <laughs> Pretty satisfying result, don't you think? What do you mean obsolete? I mean, they are a lot stronger, though, than some of the other allies that we've had so far. That's the thing that, like, kind of sucks. Like, for example, like, Fram and, and Clan, I don't even use them anymore. It's just, like, like all the, all the new members we've gotten are just so much stronger. It's insane. Ah, <sighs> that cool breeze. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? Almost a shame we'll arrive in Firenay soon. I'm surprised you came with us, Sepia. 
You're so loyal to Papa. I figured there was no way you'd approve of this. Oh? Well, your father is my master. But lately his orders have been somewhat concerning. I know exactly what you mean. He thinks nothing of killing people. I have the same blood in my veins, of course. Maybe it's natural people mistrust me. Oh, Lady Vale, no. I heard about those awful things the Divine Dragon said. That you killed Lumera? Stole the rings? If I were you, I wouldn't believe a word of it. After hearing who your father was, the Divine Dragon probably said that to hurt your feelings. Hmm. I've decided I won't harm anyone, ever. Even if it costs me my life. So, I'm not going back to Papa. I don't want to destroy this world. How kind-hearted of you. If you two really want to help, then after I've cleared up this misunderstanding, will you help me find my sibling? What a silly thing to say. You are Lord Sombron's only child. You have no brothers or sisters. That's not true. We've met. Look at this. How beautiful. It looks like a dragonstone. It is a dragonstone. A thousand years ago, I was crying, and one of my siblings gave it to me. I remember it well. Even though I can't stay with you, I'll always be your friend. If you're sad or lonely, remember, if this stone is intact, that means I'm still alive. As you can see, in all this time, it hasn't even cracked. But that means... What does that mean? It means my brother is still alive. And I'm going to find him. Perhaps with his help, I can convince Papa to end this horrible war. <sighs> Sophia, is something wrong? No, I'm just so... moved. After we've finished our business in Firene, Gris and I will help find your sibling. Thank you. I've been looking on my own this whole time. You two will be a big help. Look, Lady Vale. Fear an A on the horizon. Why don't you take in the view? Maybe reflect on what you'll say to patch things up? Good idea. <sighs> Another one of Lord Sombron's children survived? First time hearing of it. I don't understand. They all perished in the war a thousand years ago. All of them except Lady Vale, who was too young to fight. I watched it happen, Gris. Watched as each and every one of them met their end. Unless... No. What? Remember something? It's only a hunch. But if I'm right, we may have a problem on our hands. Good thing we heard this before on. she fell asleep. Yes. After all, once we've gotten to Firene and uncovered the truth, she will never awaken again. What? Man. Dude, I like... The... the uh, what? What if, like, what if Vale and Kip are actually siblings? I don't... I. Like doubt that, but like I don't know. What if like Lomera and Sombron had kids together? I feel like that would be weird, right? But even then, like, what if we like Kip is kind of in the same situation as Vale? So like Vale seems to have this like evil side and this good side, but then us when we woke up for the first time, we also had this weird dream where. Uh, we were only this like redhead, red-haired side that was evil, right? It's like what if Veil vale is the same way, and Veil, vale, because Veil's vale's hair is like white and black, right? What if Veil vale has like an evil side and a good side, and then us as the Divine Dragon also have an evil side and a good side, but for some reason like our evil side hasn't like awoken or something like that. I don't know. That would be weird. I, because they they showed it at the start when Alir had like full red hair and just it was like burning down a castle or something. I, <laughs> I guess we'll find out. But uh, that is 
actually insane that there's more um, fell princesses or princes. I think it'll be really cool. So, anyways, with that being said, that actually before I go, is there? Do we have any more support? Or oh my god, we have so many. Yeah, let's go through all of these before we leave. Sea doll, may I ask you about something? What would you like to know, Prince Alchrist? I've heard that you were once part of a traveling caravan. Is that true? Yes, that's right. Merchants, performers, dancers. I've traveled with them all, and many more. Really? That must have been incredible. Incredible? That's a flattering description. I'm surprised you think so. Well, I've rarely traveled outside of Brodia. My duties as a prince keep me so busy. I see. I'm also a bit of an introvert. I envy those who can navigate foreign cultures with ease. The world is full of wonders. The things I've seen, some of it would take your breath away. In fact, if you're truly interested in that life, I could tell you a story or three. Really? I would enjoy that very much. Of course, if I tell you these tales, I will be obliged to leave out some of the best bits. I can't be responsible for inspiring a prince to go adventuring beyond his kingdom's walls. Oh, no need to worry. I'm not that brave. I was anxious just asking you a simple question. Well, well. If it isn't Fogato, my one and only Sibby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in the flesh. Care to tell me why you're in such a good mood? Oh, no reason in particular. Really? I would have guessed there was a song or a slab of meat involved. Mine, I'm glad to see you looking so cheery. Always puts a smile on my face. Well, good, because I'm happy as can be. But I'm going to have to insist you tell me why. Come on, Sibby to Sibby. If you really want to know, it's because you're here, duh. Is that all? Psst, I'm always here. Oh, hate to break it to you, but no. I'll admit, back in Seoul, I didn't spend all that much time in the castle. But you, you were never around. I hardly spent time with you at all. Huh, yeah, you make a good point. These aren't what you'd call the best circumstances, but I'm glad I see you every day. Wow, you really put a positive spin on things. We're in the middle of a war, and you make it sound like a family vacation. Got a problem with that? Not one bit. As I said, I'm just happy that you're happy. Oh, sweet. Let us see, uh... I think that's all of them, right? No, Hortensia. Oh, yeah, more Hortensia and Ivy. We also have Hortensia and Rosado, so let's get some of that. <laughs> picture perfect, Hortensia. Huh? What did you say? Look, I drew your picture. I can draw real fast. It's my not-so-hidden talent. See, it's practically a mirror. And look how beautiful you are. Seriously? I'm staring off into the distance. I look boring. Here, do it again. I'll pose for it properly this time. I like this one, though. Are you joking? It's awful. The expression doesn't express me at all. Here, this is my good side. Draw me again. Nah, your first expression's better. <laughs> this is an order from your princess. Fine, fine. Make the face again. Done. Is this what you wanted? Perfect! Be sure to throw that other one away. We can't let future generations think I was some boring girl always staring off at nothing. There's nothing boring about you. Ivy, do you remember much about my mother? Of course. She was quite memorable. Maybe you could tell me a little about her? What do you remember most? <sighs> My clearest memory is her smile. My mother hated all of fathers. Other women. Your mother especially. 
So she was badly mistreated by my mother and by all who sought her favor. Yet even through all of that, she never seemed to stop smiling. Yeah. By her charm and wits, she eventually won even my mother over. She turned her biggest enemy into a friend through sheer determination. It left a powerful impression on me. It made me realize how strong a parent can be for a child. How strong? Yes. It seems to me your mother fought those battles to carve out a niche for you. For me? Yes. She was the sort of person who shone a light on everyone who knew her. And you were the reason she shined so bright. Uh, this was something I needed to hear. Thank you, Ivy. Oh, that was sweet. So, now we know a little bit more about Hortensia's, uh, Hortensia's mom and, and it, her relationship with Ivy's mom. Hey, Gold Mary, could you teach me how to cook? I could, but why the sudden interest? I've been thinking. When it comes to cuteness, I'm obviously miles ahead of you. Excuse me? But you're still better than me at a lot of things, and cooking is one of your many talents. So I figure... If I really want to compete with you, I should learn. How hard could it be? <laughs> Sorry, but I'm still not past the part where you said you're miles ahead of me in cuteness. Really? Well, we can come back to that another day. The important thing is I want to learn to cook, and I want you to teach me. What do you say? <sighs> not the most flattering way to ask for a favor. But since we're friends... <laughs> All right, I'll teach you. Yes! Thanks, Gold Mary! Soon I'll be adorable and multi-talented. I suppose we'll see. <laughs> that was a funny one. I'm miles ahead of you. The confidence, man. I guess that's all of them. Dude, I... I want to know more, too, about Hortensia's mom. And, uh... What was it? And Ivy's mom. Because it seems like... So, Sombron... Because now we know that Sombron had multiple kids, too. Wait, no, but that wasn't... that. It wasn't Lord Sombron. It was the other dude. F crap, I forgot his name. Uh, But whoever the king was... Oh, wait, we can do this now. Hold up. I'm sorry. It's so busy during the daytime. All right, let's see what this this reading is. Whose fortune teller. Fortune shall I tell? Oh. Oh, we could choose... Okay, let's look at ours first. May the stars guide the way. What is this? I see. Not so bad. Uh, tripped far from anyone worries from anyone worries someone saw. Tripped far from anyone. Okay. Thinking of Anna. Uh, L application card. If they if they train and study with diligence, the payoff will be great. They should spar with the person they've been thinking of. Spar with Anna. Whose fortune really? shall I tell? What about Chloe? May the stars guide the way. The food is so good yes. that it's easy to eat too much, good. clan. It's a uh, spoiler, the card of hope. Bad luck may strike, but if they believe in good fortune, it will come. Someone on their mind might even help. Whose so fortune you, shall I tell? What do you like do with this may fortune? The stars guide it looks the like way. it's just a fun thing. This thing looks cool. Oh, oh no. Wait, what? What's wrong? Uh, almost flubbing, saying emblem engage. <laughs> Gold Mary. It's El, Inf El Infamy, the infamy card. Hmm, a fell, fact, a fell act they've committed will come to light. It's best if they're extra kind to the person on their mind, to Gold Mary. What? Wait, are these Whose like hints? Fortune shall I tell? Are these things, these fortunes, like little hints to, uh, to the story that, like, their relationship, their bond conversations that will eventually come to light? That's so cool. Alright. That's gonna be it for now. I'm gonna try to set up some more, uh, bond conversations between some some of the characters namely with Hortensia I want to see more of those but uh, I'll see what else I can get done with that being said that's everything for today hope you guys have been enjoying the series and I will see you guys in the next one goodbye